Hello mathematicians, my name's Mrs Jones and I'm a math teacher from England, which is probably quite a long way away from where you are now. And what we do in this multiplication class is we look at improving the fluency of your multiplication. Perhaps you're working on your two times tables or your five times tables. I'm going to be able to take you to the point where you can do your nine times table and we're gonna use tricks like using your fingers to work um, and to get your nine times table really fluently. At the start of every class, what we're going to do is we're going to check in to where your multiplications are by completing a few of these drills. Just 10 questions. And what you're going to do is I'm, I, you're going to write them into here and then I'm going to give you the answers. And every day, what we're going to do is we're going to write it on this daily record. We're going to record the scores that you get for each of your drills. And over the, the course of this class, what we, we're going to be doing is adding the scores so that we can see our scores go up and up. It's incredibly rewarding to see those scores go up and um, to see uh, all that practice that you are doing and the impact that that's having on your multiplication fluency. We also use things like a multiplication square. So here we've got a multiplication square that helps us to see patterns. For instance, in those nine times tables, um, there are, are some clever patterns that you might not have known about before. For instance, each of these numbers, if you add the digits together, so the four and the five equal nine. What about six and three? That equals nine as well. One and eight. One plus eight, well, that equals nine. That's a, a pattern that will really help us to be able to understand and to be able to get our nine times tables correct. Um, between classes, the practice is so important. And there are a number of things that I do to help you with that. Um, so what I do is I will share different resources. I will share uh, resources uh, that, that um, on the classroom posts. So I will post uh, classroom um, instructions and I will post videos and key bits of information that help you to look between those classes. What I also do is I send you full instructions of how to use the resources that I send. So here, for instance, is uh, some flashcards. You don't have to use the flashcards, but the flashcards are there just in case it is useful to you. There are other ways to practice as well. What, what I do is I'll send you the, the templates for them. You print them off and you, uh, you, uh, you print them off and then you cut them out and create those flashcards. For instance, let me show you those templates in detail. Here, what we do, we have those flashcards just here. And what, what we will do is I'll ask you to cut them out. And then we've got them so that we write the answers on the back. And then you go through these flashcards. You, you ask the question three times six, what's the answer to three times six? And I want you to get to the point where it pops out of your head. So I want you to be able to go three times six is 18. It is indeed 18. Maybe you can do some already, like three times two. Even if you haven't learned your three times table, it's actually in the two times table as well. So if you thought about three times two in your two times table, then you probably know the answer is six already. And we're gonna go through that as a way to be able to get that, to be able to stick it in our memory and make it fluent. One way we're going to practice and improve our fluency is with games like this. This is a game on a program called blockit.com and it's completely free to use. What you do here is you've got some money. Can you see that money in the top right hand corner here? I have four coins and that's going to enable me to choose uh, one of these uh, we call them towers or blocks. Um, I'm going to choose this uh, owl, for instance, and I'm going to put my owl. He's, he shoots quite far, so I'm going to use him over here. What you do um, is, is then there are some blocks that will appear. So as you can see, these blocks appear and your different towers fire at them. And we try and make sure that we hit all of those blocks before they disappear. I'm just going to speed it up. Oh, yeah, I think we're going to get them. Yes, we managed to complete it. Now, the way to earn coins is to click 
um, on the question. So five times seven, if you don't know it already, that's 35. Five times two, what's the answer to that? It's 10, absolutely. So I'm gonna choose another block and then let's see if we can get these. So the coins were at the top here, that allows us to build a block um, and then we can choose uh, to fire at those blocks. I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun with you. I'm gonna say goodbye for now and I really look forward to seeing you on the class. Bye. <laughs>